Happy Thanksgiving to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today it's November 28, 2019. Check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner. Rated the number one exchange planner by Denarians for Denarians for both pre and post RV planning. Download your free trial copy today. The link is in the description. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. First article of interest. Kurdistan. We will agree with Baghdad to be between 12.7% and 14% of the budget. A member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party, on Thursday, that the Kurdish delegation, which will visit Baghdad next week will agree that the proportion of Kurdistan between 12.7% and 14% of the total budget. Al Safar said, the delegation of the region came to Baghdad for the purpose of agreeing on the share of the region and also to participate in the organization of the draft budget 2020 of the federal government because of problems in the previous budget as a result of the inability of the government of Kurdistan to commit to deliver the amount agreed in the draft budget. He added that the delegation came to Baghdad to announce the commitment of Erbil from the beginning of next year to deliver the agreed quantity in return for the region to get its share of the full budget, and will agree that the ratio between 12.7% and 14% of the total budget. Next article of interest. Next week. Baghdad and Erbil will raise a budget agreement. To put the law on the government table. The governments of Baghdad and Erbil are likely to raise an agreement next week on the budget next year, especially the paragraphs concerning the share of Kurdistan and the oil agreement in order to put the draft law in the cabinet meeting next Tuesday. The governments of the center and the region are in the process of concluding an agreement on the 2020 budget on Sunday or Monday, said D.R. Burwari, a member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party, KDP, bloc. He pointed out that the agreement includes the determination of quantities of oil amounting to 250,000 barrels to the company SOMO in return sent the center government budget allocated to the Kurdistan region. Barwari added that the agreement will include many other paragraphs, especially with regard to investment and the development of regions and loans from various funds, hoping that the draft budget law will be presented to the Council of Ministers next Tuesday. For his part, a parliamentary source stated that it is not clear whether the agreement will be on 12, 14 or 17 percent as a share of the region in the budget. Next article of interest. Integrity recovers 23 billion and 500 million dinars from inside Iraq. Announced the Integrity Commission on Thursday, the recovery of 23 billion and 500 million dinars from inside Iraq. The authority has recovered more than $565,000, more than £329,000 and nearly €12 million, Euros, said the director of the recovery department. He pointed out, retrieved amounts from within Iraq exceeding $23 billion and 500 million dinars, as well as more than $500,000. Next article of interest. A religious authority proposes to dissolve the parties in Iraq and go directly to the elections. The religious authority Qasim al tayyi proposed on Thursday to dissolve political parties and resort to direct elections, in case the legislative authority fails to transform the parliamentary system into a presidential. al tayyi said in a statement today that, after the spontaneous exit of the Iraqis, which we ask God to be legitimate and accomplished by fulfilling their demands and return the government to its awareness and fear of God, we warn that the defenders of power in any country, especially in the Islamic countries be responsible for any grievances his country does not say I have no income, because the official in the state is responsible for the hungry legally and legally. He stressed the need to transform the parliamentary system into a presidential and that the prime minister is elected directly by the people and be free to choose his government and the right of parliament to monitor and perform the government. In many countries, including Iran, which dissolved the parties in the 1980s, he stressed the need to reduce the House of Representatives to 150 deputies the abolition of the allocations of the three presidencies and provide this huge amount of resources, which cost the state $7 billion except the Kurdistan region. Tayyip promised, 
the Constitution is built on the interests of political blocs, not on the interests of Iraqis in many of its vocabulary and mind, and does not address any problem can occur, which is full of crises, and the evidence of what we live today events. Next article of interest. Governor of Dakar calls on Abdul Mahdi to withdraw military commanders and interrogate them. The Governor of Dakar, Adel al Dakili, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, called on Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to withdraw the military leadership that arrived in the province recently. Al Dakili called in a press statement to investigate with military leaders against the background of developments in Assyria. He added, If these military leaders are not excluded, I will announce my resignation. Al Dakhali stressed that the state of repression currently taking place against the demonstrators in Assyria is unacceptable and may not be continued. The Joint Operations Command announced on Thursday, as directed by the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, to assign some military leaders to be members of the crisis cell to take command and control of all security and military services in the province and to assist the governors in the performance of their tasks. Next article of interest. America condemns internet blocking, harassment and recent intimidation of the media in Iraq. The United States condemned the increasing harassment and recent intimidation of the media in Iraq. The U.S. Embassy in Baghdad denounced in a statement received by the Euphrates News Agency measures that threaten the freedom of media in Iraq, especially the recent decision of the Iraqi Media and Communications Commission, CMC to suspend the license to operate nine satellite channels and warn others that they may face the same fate. The recent decision by the Iraqi Media and Communications Commission to close the headquarters of the Tigris satellite channel in Baghdad on November 26 does not comply with the Iraqi government's duty to preserve the right to freedom of expression and protection of journalists and to accept divergent views that may disagree with them. Back on the decision of the Iraqi Media and Communications Commission. Freedom of expression is the cornerstone of democratic societies. Censorship of the media on the pretext of bias or dissemination of misinformation, harassing journalists, blocking the internet and social media are methods that undermine the free press and threaten its existence or even the judiciary, the U.S. Embassy said. On her. Respecting and supporting the right of journalists to perform their duties without harassment is essential to protect and promote democracy and safeguard the freedoms and rights of societies, she said. Next article of interest, al Okabi, replacing the ministers will not work after losing confidence in the government. MP of the National Approach Bloc Hussein al Okabi, Thursday that the replacement of ministers to others will not work and there are political forces in control of the scene, pointing out that there is a lack of confidence in the government and its procedures. al said in a statement to the information that the government's actions on the replacement of ministers will not bring new, as there are political forces dominate the whole scene. He added that there is a lack of confidence in the measures of the government as the ministerial change will not offer anything to the people, but should be said the government as a whole, and the coming of a new government. He added that, the parties that control the scene and participate in the cabinet will vote on the new changes, because they will not lose anything, they are in control of the cab even if they do not have a minister, they have office managers in the ministries, and therefore the change will be at the level of names only. Next article of interest. Iraq unrest, government creating crisis cells to quell unrest. Iraq is setting up military crisis cells to quell civil unrest which has left more than 300 people dead. Eight people were killed on Thursday in the southern city of Nasiriya as security forces opened fire to disperse a demonstration. Hundreds of thousands of Iraqis have been taking to the streets to demand more jobs, an end to corruption, and better public services. The protests escalated after security personnel responded with deadly force. The Iraqi military said it had deployed commanders to impose security and restore order. On the orders of the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi, 
some military commanders have been appointed to this unit to direct and control all security and military forces and assist the governors in their mission, it said in a statement. This move by the Iraqi government comes a day after a group of protesters set fire to Iran's consulate in the city of Najaf on Wednesday. Demonstrators accuse Iran of interfering in Iraq's internal affairs and propping up the government. Protesters chanted, Iran out of Iraq, as flames engulfed the building. Reports say staff at the consulate managed to flee just before protesters broke in. Iran swiftly condemned the attack and said that the Iraqi government was responsible for protecting its consulate. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted on new news as it unfolds from Iraq. If you haven't already done so grab your free trial copy of the CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool, for the currency exchange for both pre- and post-RV planning, the link is in the description box below. Remember to stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, more articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Dinarian.